Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about values since we're doing a monochromatic. Now, once you have your image onto your board, um, if you remember, I stated you need to make sure to remember how many value levels you picked. And you were supposed to be able to pick between four and six, whichever one looked the best. So before you get started painting on this, especially those of you who do not feel secure in figuring out your values, you need to do this first. One, you're going to choose the color that you're going to be doing. Now, I have already had some people talk to me about different choices, different um, things that they're going to do with theirs to make sure it was okay. Um, so if you have any questions you need to ask prior, especially when it's dealing with another color, you're wanting to introduce two colors in. So that's a little bit more advanced. Um, but what you need to do is you need to have all these little sections you should already have them, um, um, the line of the sections drawn out when you transferred your image. And the reason why you wanted your second printout is because you're going to figure out what colors are going to go where. You're going to pre-plan this. So there's no big mistake right in the middle of it. It'll make life a lot easier. So maybe I'm going to have this one as one, two, three, uh, you know what, I'm actually going to have this as four. I want that four. So one, two, two, no, let's go ahead. And that's going to be four. Okay, so I just gave you a good explanation about why you would need to plan all this out. Okay, colors. One, make sure that you have um, enough space on your plate when you get started with this. Clean it off. Do not throw this stuff away because we can continue to use it. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bit of white. All right, I have three specific places, so that's what I'm gonna do with it. So if I mix this, that has just a very, very, very small amount of white. Excuse me, a small amount of red. Okay, you do want to see some sort of change here. Okay. Just remember that this is going to go into the section for one. All right, so everywhere that is cited that is going to be one, that's where that's going to go. So next, I'm going to take just a wee bit, a wee bit of red because there needs to be a jump. Now, see, I almost think that that is too too much red. So I'm going to grab a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to paint that in two. Now you want this, your colors, to be opaque. All right, meaning it's a solid grouping of colors. You don't want it to be transparent. This is not watercolor. Okay, so that's my other one. I'm going to add a little bit more red to this one. And this is going to go where three's at. Now, your value scale does not have to be this big. 
Okay, you just want to be able to see it to make sure it's going to work with your painting. And one that you like the colors, because um, one of the most difficult ones to make a value scale up will be yellow. Okay, so now we have four. Okay, so then we're going to start adding a little bit of black. I'm going to add my little bit of black over here, wash out my brush really good. Now I'm going to get a little bit more red. Okay, now with this, you want to add the black into the red. Okay, if you just add the black, the red into the black, you're not going to get much change. Okay. <clears throat> So this one should be five. Now, you'll know that if you need to put more paint down, it's when you start getting streak marks. Okay, you want it solid, like what this is, what's going on with this. Because if you have streak marks in your painting, it's not going to be unified. And it'll look uh, quite nasty. So don't do that. Okay, so we just have one more. So we're going to take a little bit more black. Now you don't necessarily have to go black. You can go like with a really darker color. But you just want to make sure that whatever color that you have that you decided upon, you're going to see a gradual value scale happening. You don't want black, red, white. No, that, that's, that's not going to work. And if you have only three values, you need to go back in and redo that because that's not going to work because the requirement was between four and six. Okay. All right, so having this is gonna help me plan exactly where all my colors are gonna go. So this is almost like a paint by numbers. So you have your numbers, you're gonna plan it out on your second page that you printed if you need one, go print it off because you will need this. Um, and that way you can go ahead and plan. So like this is my six. So this is going to be where all my darks are. Okay, so it's not going to be black. It's going to be a very, very burgundy type color. And then you're just going to go from there. I do suggest only working one color per section once you get this planned out. You don't want to have all these paints already mixed and realize that, oh, crud, I need to go back in and do some editing with my colors. All right. So you can either start with the dark and go to the white or go to the white, and start with the dark. I would start off with whatever's more dominant. So probably the six and then go from there. But this is going to be a lifesaver for some of you. And this is a really very, very light pink. This one, it's not completely white. If we need to, we can, after it's done, we can go back in with white to add more dimension. Even black, we can go back in and add more dimension. Okay, now background, something you might want to consider is the complement of the color that you're using. So my complement, which is across from the color wheel, is green. So maybe I want to do something green in back. Okay, if you decide, you know, I want his face to be one way and I want his bandana to be another color, you have to plan that out. This is a monochromatic, so his face could be one color. Red, maybe his bandana is going to be blue or gray. All right, so you can combine that, but be careful what you're doing. And I will have um, brushes like this 
out ready for you to use. Um, it, they're, they're better quality than the watercolor brushes that you have. So this is what I use to make this value scale for that painting. So this is required, um, especially those of you that I know are going to struggle with this. So this is going to help you out no matter how advanced you believe you are. That is it.